This conference will now be recorded. Go. So hi, everybody. My name is Kate. And for the next hour or so, we are going to be together doing some mindfulness. So you don't need anything for today except yourself, hopefully a comfortable spot to sit. And if you can, a quiet space. But as I was saying earlier, if not, no stress, no worries. Just find uh, somewhere that you can try to tune out the outside world and focus on our internal worlds. So today I'd love to do a mindfulness hour based on gratitude. So my background is mostly out of the yogic philosophy and yoga in general. And one of the things I always say is that I love to teach and explore gratitude, not only bring my students into yogic philosophy or yoga poses, but also this concept of gratitude. I've found for myself and for students over the years that a lens of gratitude can be one of the most powerful tools in our belt, so to speak, as we navigate this journey of life, being able to see and even more so appreciate the positive, even in a tough situation, having that level of gratitude for both the light and dark that's in our lives can make a world of difference in our overall presence and our overall attitude. So with that said, since we're going to be sitting for the next hour or so, let's do a little bit of stretching. So when we talk about energy flows in the body, we talk a lot about the spine and the spine is like just like it is in the scientific way in the nervous system or central nervous system, we talk about the energy flowing up and down our spine. So I like to move just a little bit before we settle in. So from your chair, we're gonna do everything from the chair. Just come to the edge of the chair a little bit. So scooch forward so your bum's closer to the edge. Hands can come on to the knees. And eyes can be open or shut, whatever you're more comfortable with. And this is why people like to turn the cameras off, right? So that they can't see them. <laughs> but either way, so you take a nice deep inhale, start to pull the chest forward. And I'll turn for a second so you can kind of see this arching happening. And then as you breathe out, tuck the chin and round the shoulders and come back, right? So we inhale, pull the chest forward. And then exhale, release back, tuck the chin, go ahead and press the chin a little bit more towards the chest, rounding through, and just like that for a few times. Inhaling, bringing forward, maybe you start to look up. And then exhale, tuck the chin, round through the shoulders. So you start to get that opening in the back. Beautiful, just do two more and you can go at your own pace. Just follow your breath, breathing in. And exhaling that rounding. For most of us, if we're stagnant during the day or sitting, this can feel really nice. Just a little bit of movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. Come back through center, back through neutral. Go ahead and inhale. Shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. Yes. Nice, you guys. Hold it for a minute. Keep the breath moving in and out. Just feel that tension. Feel that sensation happening. Then take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Shrug a little more. And then press the shoulders out. So squeeze those shoulder blades together. You can see my arms kind of do something funky. And then roll the shoulder blades down the back side of the body. So we'll inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Open, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open the chest, open up this front area, our heart space. And then exhale. Yeah, release the shoulder blades down. Do a few more like that. Just go at your own pace as you squeeze, hold that inhale for a moment, and then release down. And you can see my arms start to do some funny movements. It's okay, don't worry about it. Squeezing, releasing, nice job. Let's do one more together. Inhale, shrugging, opening, and releasing down. Beautiful, back through center. Just walk the hands over to the left side. We're gonna do right both sides, so if you're on your right, no worries. So hands come to the left side for me on my chair, wherever you're sitting comfortably. If you're on the ground, then the ground. If you're on a chair, maybe the arm of the chair. Just take a nice twist. And then from here, we breathe in through the nose, bring the top of the head a little higher. And then as you exhale, see if you can slowly and gently melt into your twist a little more. And then do that again, repeating the breath. Inhale, lengthening up. And then 
exhale, a little softening, a little more twist. One more time like that, inhale. And then exhale, that melting, twisting sensation. Awesome, then walk the hands back through center and then other side. So bringing the hands to the opposite side of we were just on, just a really gentle twist, don't overdo it. And then finding that breath again. So nice deep inhale through the nose, finding the length. And then the exhale, a little bit more softening, melting into the twist. So we're not kind of contorting the body too much, we're just letting it, the breath move us into the twist. Inhaling, lengthen. And then the exhale, melting in, softening into the twist. One more like that. Inhale, nice, you guys. And then exhale. Beautiful, walk the hands back through center. From here, let's bring the hands up overhead for a moment. Nice, so the fingers can stay, bring the hands together, you can interlace the fingers, whatever is comfortable for you. And just lean over to one side and start to open up this side of the body. And then with next inhale, come back through center. And then exhale over to the other side. So some super simple stretches and moves. You can do this just in your office or working from home, wherever you are. Inhale, back up through center. Let's do one more either side. And just allowing the spine to warm, to flex. Inhaling up through center, exhaling over. Especially when you know you're gonna be sitting for a long time. Beautiful, inhale through center. And exhale, just let the hands come back down. Last thing, I promise, and then we'll get started on our visualization. A Little bit of neck movement. So very gently drop the chin towards the chest. And if you have any neck injuries, just be mindful of yourself. Listen to your body. And then when you feel ready, just roll one ear over towards that shoulder. So for me, left ear to left shoulder. And then gently roll the chin back through center and over the other way, just feeling some stretches through the neck. Maybe you're aware that you feel it a little bit further down the shoulder. Maybe you feel it in the back. You can observe where you feel that stretch. Chin back through center. Let's do one more time on either side. And again, part of being mindful is an awareness of self, awareness of our physical self. So noticing where you feel that stretch, whether it's just purely in the neck or down through the back or the arm. All right, chin back through center and one last time. Very nice, everybody. A little bit of movement. Beautiful, chin back through center and then very slowly and controlled, Come on up, lovely. Then let's get comfortable. So one of the most important things for, well, in my opinion, for mindfulness or meditation or visualization is the ability to have our body physically comfortable. So if when our body is not physically comfortable, our mind is telling us the whole time, I, this hurts, I'm not comfortable. And we want our minds to be calm. So try to get the body as physically comfortable as you can. So I've got my big plush chair, my recliner, and I'm gonna sit all the way back. Feet are grounded on the floor if possible. Now, if you're not in a chair, uh, you can always, you can actually sit on the ground. If you're somewhere where you can lie down, like if you're working from home, you can do that too. Just making sure the body is comfortable. So I sit up nice and straight. I'm on my sits bones. I take the top of my head and I reach it a little higher. I pull my belly button in. Right, so I, I engage my core a little bit to get that spine nice and straight, right? So that energy through the spine can flow, has a nice clear channel. My arms are on my chair, on the, my arms are on the arm of the chair. Yours can be in the lap, they can be, again, wherever is most comfortable for you, right? And so, as I mentioned, my background is yoga and there's a practice in yoga called Pratyahara. And the idea of this practice is that we start to let go of the external and we come inside and our focus comes on the internal. So as you get comfortable, let's start. When you're ready, let the eyes close down. 
And if it's not comfortable to close the eyes all the way, then just go ahead and drop the gaze towards the ground, towards the lap, tone down the eyes in a certain way. But if it feels good for you, go ahead and close the eyes. And just take for a moment. Take it all in. Start by what you can hear. So the sound of my voice is the obvious one. What else do you hear in the external world around you? You might be in an office and hear colleagues. You might be at home and hear something in the house. And there's no right or wrong answers. It's just observing what you hear. The sound of a computer fan. How detailed can you get? What are the small sounds you hear? Maybe your tummy rumbling, you haven't had <laughs> lunch yet. And then shift that awareness to something you can smell. Walking through the senses, what do you smell? And the same, depending on where you are, if you were in the office or even at home, you might smell someone heating up lunch. I have a diffuser running, so I can smell the lemongrass, right? What's in your external environment? What do you smell? And then that shifting that awareness to taste. And hopefully none of us are eating currently, but what can you taste? Maybe it's remnants of gum or coffee or water. You can taste your toothpaste. And again, there's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. It's just an awareness. And then shift your attention to your overall body, so your entire physical body. And notice what you feel. So notice the feet on the floor. Notice where the hands are resting. Maybe you have a little ache happening. Maybe an itch. Notice the sits bones, your bum resting wherever it is. So physical awareness of your body. Maybe you get, you wonder, maybe the hands are Touching, maybe the fingers are touching. Maybe your lips are together, separated. Maybe your allergies are bothering you. Like just scan through the physical body and take note, aware of what you feel and what's happening. And then bring all that awareness, all that energy, that focus and concentration onto the breath. So from the outside to the inside. And observe your breathing for a moment. Notice if your breaths are short or fast, long and slow. 
Maybe you notice your inhales are longer or shorter than your exhales. Maybe you notice that you're only breathing through your mouth or only breathing through your nose. And just become aware of that breath. And then as you're ready, we'll take a nice deep breath in, inhale through the nose. So nice and deep, feel the chest rise, feel the physical body change slightly as we expand and inhale. And then let it out through the mouth with a ha or a sigh. And let's do three more like that. So nice and deep, inhale. Then exhale. Two more, just at your own pace. Really breathing in, filling up. Filling up till you feel like you can't fill up anymore. And then letting go. Exhaling out everything that no longer serves you. Last one, in through the nose, nice and deep. Then exhale out. And then just let the breath come back to its normal cadence and try to keep the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And as we focus the mind on the breath, we come into our equal part breath. And this super simple breathing exercise. So first we'll start with one of those cleansing breaths with a big exhale through the mouth. And then we'll breathe in for a count of four and breathe out for a count of four through the nose. And we'll go all together for a few breaths. So nice deep inhale through the nose, cleansing breath out. Push out all that air, keep going all the way out, beautiful. Then in through the nose for a count of one, two, three, four. Take a pause. Then exhale for one, two, three, four. Pause. In for one, two, three, Four, pause, and out for one, two, three, four, pause. In for one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale through the nose, one, two, three, four, pause. Again, in for one, two, three, four, pause, and out for one, two, three, four, pause. In one, two, three, four, pause, and out for one, two, three, four, pause. In for one, two, three, four, pause. And out for one, two, three, four, pause. So they keep that going for yourself for the next few breaths. Counting internally to yourself. You can slow down the pace or speed it up even. Keeping that equal part breath in through the nose, 
and out through the nose. And every time you're breathing in, feeling an expansion of the chest and the body, creating space. And every time you breathe out, letting go, softening, getting rid of anything that no longer serves you. creating that space for new energy, for new thoughts, and then letting go of things that you cannot control, that make you anxious, breathing them away. Feeling that expansion, and then the release. Keeping that count going to keep the mind focused on the count, the numbers, just like you would count sheep. Counting the inhales and matching that count on the exhales. The next time you come to an exhale, let the count go. Keep the breath as even as you can, but let the numbers go. Moving on, breathing them away. I'm trying to keep that even keeled breath in and out through the nose. And allowing the body to further soften as you breathe in on your next round, feel that expansion in space. And as you breathe out, feel the feet heavier on the earth. And every time you breathe in, feeling that lightness and expansion. And with your next exhale, feeling the legs getting heavier onto the chair, the seat, the ground, wherever you're sitting. Inhaling in that lightness. And exhaling, feeling your bum, your sits bones ground further, your hips ground into the chair further. And your next exhale, softening the shoulders even further away from the ears. And then releasing and relaxing the hands further on your next exhale. Feeling the softness and lightness on the inhale. And allowing the teeth to separate and the jaw to soften on the next exhale. Letting the eyes grow a little heavier. Until the body feels at ease. And from here, let that awareness slowly drift and consolidate into your heart space. So into your chest, the center of your chest, let your awareness drift there. And for some, it might be nice to visualize a light 
something that the mind can keep focus on or envision. For some, you can even take your hand and place it over that space. So allowing all your energy and focus to come into that general space. And then allow yourself to come into gratitude and notice what comes up for you with that word gratitude and don't overthink it let it be organic what resonates what visual what thought a face a place what immediately sparks in the heart with that word gratitude and this is just something that only you are going to experience and know so just be honest with yourself. And it might be something very serious and important like your family, and it might be something as lighthearted as your lunch that's waiting for you. So let it be whatever it is that initially comes up, just hold that there. No right or wrong, but honoring whatever it is. Maybe you even start to feel a sense of heat come into that heart space as you think of gratitude and all the emotions that happen around joy, happiness. And then I want you to visualize something you see that brings you gratitude. Maybe the same thing initially you thought of. It might be a landscape or a person. It can be anything, but something your eyes can see that brings you joy, that makes you grateful. a beautiful sight in your opinion, in your definition. And I want you to feel the joy around that sight, feel the emotion that overwhelms you, comes up with that sight that brings you gratitude. And then become aware of a sound you love, a sound that brings you joy that you are grateful for. It might be a song, a bird, the sound of children, an instrument, anything. What comes up? What is a noise that lights your heart on fire and makes you feel so grateful? And almost like you can hear it now inside. And as you do, that sense of joy furthers your sense of calm and happiness. And just let those feelings or emotions and thoughts resonate. Let them affect the physical calmness of the body. And enjoy that emotional sense of gratitude and happiness.
And then we move to the idea of a smell and a smell that brings you joy. And if you could close your eyes and smell this smell, your heart just feels alive. It feels so happy. And it might be the ocean, the forest, a field. It might be your favorite cook cookie, the smell of a family home, whatever, whatever it is for you. And don't overthink it, just with the eyes closed, envision that smell. And feel that sense of joy and gratitude that comes when you smell it. And then bring your awareness to a taste. Something that you eat, that you taste, that brings you joy. Maybe it's something nostalgic, a family recipe, your favorite pizza place. Maybe it's special chocolate. Maybe it's your toothpaste. It can be whatever makes you happy, whatever brings you gratitude and joy. And then bring your awareness to your sense of feeling. And think about a sensation you feel, maybe on the skin that brings you joy. So putting on your favorite sweater or feeling the sun on your skin or an ocean breeze. Maybe it's a fresh towel after the shower or getting into a freshly made bed. Something that, again, makes your heart feel happy. And think of all of these sensations these senses and the way we experience the external world and how much joy and gratitude come from it. And allow yourself just to feel grateful for those experiences, those very human experiences that bring you such joy. And allow that sensation of happiness, gratitude to wash over you, to emanate from that heart space where it lives. And almost like a bright light, just start to encompass the body, overwhelmingly make you feel grateful. And then move your awareness to a person in your life. This awareness of gratitude to someone in your life that you love. And your definition of love is yours and you can, it can be anybody who comes to mind with that word. someone who is easy to love 
that brings joy to you. And hold that energy around them. And you can visualize them or visualize the two of you. Think about the positivity and the energy they bring to your life. And as you visualize them, thank them. Show them your gratitude for what they do for you, maybe physically, but also emotionally, lifting the spirits, bringing you joy. And then bring somebody else to mind. Another person that you love, another person that comes to mind. And the same thing, hold their energy, hold that space of happiness and love. Think of a time where you just felt so happy with them. Life, everything was felt great. Whether it was or not, they just make everything happy. And again, thank them. And you can even say it out loud or softly. Be grateful for those people in your life. And take a few moments to think of those types of people where when you are with them, everything feels easy, you feel safe, you feel happy. And to each one that comes to mind, thank them. Tell them you are grateful for them. Grateful for all they do for you, the way they make you feel. the sense of joy that they bring to you. And then allow your mind to drift to someone that has made your life easier. And again, don't overthink it. Someone that has made your life easier for you in some way, has helped you make things easier. And you can visualize them or maybe a moment that you've captured with them, a specific instance, or maybe it's just all the time they help making things easier. And the same, thank them. Send out that energy of gratitude to them now. If you knew where they were right now, send it out to them and say thank you. Almost like you can envision a, a thread from your heart space to their heart space, wherever they are, and send that energy of gratitude to them. And then bring to mind a teacher, someone who has made an impact in the teachings of your life, who has taught you skills or given you education. And it can be a traditional teacher or it might be a father or family figure, um, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent. 
It might be yourself, a guru, a child. But someone that has taught you valuable lessons has given you knowledge that you find valuable. And send them that gratitude. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for expanding my knowledge, for teaching me what it is how it is, maybe for teaching you who you are. And then allow yourself to bring your awareness and that energy to your family. And however you define your family, it can be traditional or it cannot. We get to choose who we are, have as our family. Many of us have good friends that are just like family. Many of us have real family who is like family. So whatever your definition and whoever falls into that category for you, maybe it's pet. <laughs> Bring them into your mind and even though family cause us all different kinds of emotions, think about the joy that they bring for you. Focus on that positive aspect. and be grateful for them. And maybe even be grateful for some of the times that it's not so easy with our families and the lessons we walk away with or the strength that that gives us. And send each one of them that sense of gratitude And then take a few moments and think through all the people that have crossed your path and your journey so far. People that have make, made an impact into your life. And some of those people will be positive, positive impact. And some of those people will not be so positive. but choose to see it through a lens of gratitude. Choose to find the joy and happiness in the beautiful moments and the people that have created joy for you. And try to apply that lens of gratitude to the people that have not brought you so much joy but how you benefited, how maybe you walked away stronger, maybe a lesson was learned, maybe they taught you something about life, about yourself. That notion of finding the silver lining even in the darkest clouds. And for all those people that have made it across your path in the journey, be grateful for them.
And with that sense of gratitude, bring your awareness to the bigger picture, to all the material things and possessions you may have in your life. Maybe your home, the clothes, the food you nourish yourself with. Maybe something that you worked hard to buy yourself. Maybe an heirloom that's been passed down, but think of all the abundance you have. And be grateful. And think about things that may hold special meaning or something that may keep you safe. A piece of clothing that may have a significance. And try to truly appreciate the material things. Think about the idea of having running water, having clean water, being able to turn a spout and have water come out. And just allow that sense of gratitude, that lens of gratitude to gaze upon all those things and truly feel grateful. Not shame or guilty for the material possessions, but grateful that you have them, grateful you're able to purchase them or possess them. And think about in that big picture, all the abundance you have in your life, your physical body and your ability to see and hear, taste and smell, feel things, experience things. Think about all the beautiful people in your life, the friends, the family, maybe animals, pets, the people that have crossed your path in good ways and maybe not so good ways. Think about the opportunities that have been presented to you. And all the things that you have And allow that sense of abundance to grow in that heart space. And with every inhale, with the focus on the breath, feeling that space be created and that abundance, that gratitude fill in Every exhale, letting go of anything that doesn't serve that purpose. Allowing that joy, the happiness, the gratitude to take over. With every breath, expanding through the body. Filling up almost overwhelmingly throughout every inch of you. 
through the physical body and through your emotional body, the energy that runs through you. Just allow yourself to sit with that energy for a few moments to sit in gratitude. And leaving your hands where they are or placing one on top of each other in that heart space again. Allow yourself to repeat inside. I am grateful for all the abundance in my life. And say those words and let it resonate with you for a few moments choosing the lens of gratitude, choosing to see the good. Knowing that all you have is enough. leaving your hands where they are or releasing them back down. Allow your awareness to come back to your breath. And come back to the inhales and exhales. And allow yourself to feel grateful for this beautiful breath. That kind of magically just navigates itself when we need it to. And lets us work with it when we want to. And on those days, because everybody has those days, where it's hard to find that lens of gratitude. And maybe it's just in a moment or maybe it's a day or maybe it's ongoing. Come back to the breath and bring your hands to that heart center and find gratitude in the breath. That you are here, that you are breathing that you are. And slowly start to bring the awareness back to the body. Notice where the hands are resting. Notice the feet on the floor. Notice any sounds you may hear or smells you may smell. Maybe wiggle the fingers and toes, inviting a little movement back into the body. And before you open your eyes, taking in just a few final words. Acknowledging all the good that you already have in your life is the foundation for all abundance. Letting those words resonate for a moment.
And then when you feel ready, slowly opening up the eyes. And just letting the body kind of come back to, you might need to stretch, slowly moving, whatever feels right, whatever feels nice for the body. Taking time to tell yourself thank you and being grateful for this last hour and doing something super positive for yourself. And remember that choosing the lens of gratitude is not always easy, it is a practice, but it is something that can truly change your life and the way you view everything with that practice. Namaste, you guys. Great work. <laughs>